उसको सानो सानो है ना तेज मार पानी उसको एक इस नाव ले जाते ना और को मार को जाते ना यो कुरा आले पानी अब हम थेरेपी को हुए बाटा हैरने बने ये सब बनी कई गर्ना साकिन साकी कई विचार निकालना साकिन साकी सॉल्यूशन किए होने साथ सा आज आज जो लोग यूनिवर्सिटी पर वो प्रमुख भाग होना 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 ले पानी अब तब तक दायित्व किए होने सा वो और उल्लिख किए गर्नु पड़ता वो हैंडली ये और और इस पे नॉलेज कौन से रितेले जब दीने वाने पर एवढ़ा बाय आज लोग ने वहाँ लेके एक प्रश्न किए सब जिस तरह वो आर्ट थेरेपी आने पर आर्ट बहुत रहा समय ना अब कस्तो कस्तो आर्ट लाइज आने थेरेपी इसको रूप में लीन एक्सपेरिमेंट गाए रहा वाव वाली तरह से इस बात ऐसे उसको मेमोरी में गाए रहा उल्लेख एक्सप्लोर करें कि आर्ट वाले थेरेपिस्ट को आर्ट वाले बनाए तो मानिए कि प्रोसेस क्यों होते हैं इसको ये वाला पूरा अरु पूरा ये तो खाल को ऐसे इवेंट हर उसे कुछ तो ठाउ में होने सा रा कसरी से और उल्लेखने मैं जो थेरेपिस्ट के रूप में भी काम करना चाहूँगा उसे बनने के लिए जो आर्ट को नॉलेज हो आर स्किल हो आऊँ सा तो अर्थ है पर थेरेपिस्ट के रूप में भी काम करना सभी रहेगा बनने तो त्यों नॉलेज आ रहा है बनने ये आर्ट मात्रे वाले बन हो जाएगा त्यों जी कौन सा रिकॉर्ड ना सकता होगा ये जिगर सा� मैं अब सब ठाम में बैठा हूँ, तो जाने पे हमसे क्या क्या पूरी रहा, जो यार मैं तेज़ तो खाने बिजार कर दिया हूँ, मेरे तो कोई बात, तो सब ऐसे आप लोग एक्सपेक्ट करें तो पूरा हो, तो संसार चेंज होने थाले हो, मैं संसार चेंज कर सकूँ, एक्सपेक्ट करें तो यूल रिस्क नहीं होगा, तो � उन्हें वो रिसोर्स अलग करना कि रिपोर्ट ना कि रिया ना एटलिस्ट एक्नॉलेज करने हैं कितने गेम होने हैं आपने सुनिए और सब और तो चीज़ और वो सही आई थिंक इट्स वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट है और ये ग्रुपिज़म को पूरा है ना ये जाने वाले पूरा है मतलब यहाँ पर तो समझा रहे हैं कुछ यो ओबामा � मैं आपको बात तो शुरू करने को अवसर होगा। वही इंस्ट्रक्शन वाइज पे नहीं, पर ओपन होने को अवसर है। और ये समृद्ध लोग बन रहे हैं आजकल। हमारे यहाँ पे इसको सिस्टम होती है, पुराना तो सेवा सकती है। तेल को शरीर आउटकम होने के कारण से बनने पर अपनी शिवर बात सुना है। तो ये एजुकेशन सिस्टम तो मैं कैसे मचा हुआ? I think बहुत तो लोग बहुत खराब चीज़ हैं। I think बहुत तो जॉब भी कैसा बने दो टाइम जो। एक तो art as therapy और एक तो art in therapy। जो ना हमी कोर्स हो as art students, as artists, because you make art because you feel like it, right? There's a certain way you make your art. तो जो ना बड़ी art वाला you feel good, that is art as therapy. तो जो ना as an art therapist मैं कोर्स हूँ, that is art in therapy. तो बने कुछ ऐसे क्यों बने? कुने बने क्लाइंट जो मका आऊँ हूँ जब मका जो जनरली वाला साइकोलॉजिकली हाउ डू आई फील मॉल आई वांट टू नो माय सेल्फ बने आऊँ हूँ जब बने कॉपी जाना सीरियस मेंटल हेल्थ इश्यू बाको मैच हो आऊँ हूँ जब ना तो इस तो मैच हो सम वाले कोशिश जो वहाँ ले हेल्प करने बंदा के लिए फर्स्ट हमें जो अडल्ट्स हों इले, we are made from all the experience we've had, right? सामने बोला दी को इले सम को एक्सपीरियंस दे तो we we are us। मालूम है जो कुने पे निमंत्रण है, तो वो तो पहला हिस्ट्री टेकिंग होना है। मालूम है गरीबों इस कॉल क्लिनिकल आर्ट थेरेपी तो वहाँ निको मालूम है हिस्ट्री टेकिंग ले रहा तो इसमें जी प्लानिंग करने पड़ता है कि � तो जब मैं चाहे आर्ट थेरेपी में आऊँ उनसे मैं म्यूजिक थेरेपी को एलिमेंट्स पानी चलाऊँ उनसे मैं म्यूजिक चला रहा हूँ वाला विजुअलाइज़ कर रहा हूँ वाला सर्टेन इमेजेस बनाऊँ उनसे जो मेरे चॉइस को इमेजेस उनसे कि न बड़ी मॉडल तो वहाँ को बारे में कहीं था पाऊँ न पाऊँ तो वाला रैंडमली ड्राइंग कर रहा है तो एल्बम होता ही ना, तो त्यों कर रहा है पची वहाँ को अनकॉन्शियस लाइट टैप कर रहे हैं जो क्यों उनसे तो 
I'm able to show them evidence. What I do is evidence-based work. When you go the drawing they do is the evidence of how they're feeling. Evidence they have which customs. Very much like, okay, mala the yoyo kura they go dukha they are isa to mane paji. Balla I can go for counseling, which is talk therapy. So two sabte yada process hunsa. Ma pani art student the, wale gone bad us the. Ma yada pani graduation painting mai gori ko. I was an artist till a certain point. I na this which I became a therapist. Kina because I felt that I could do so much more with art, not just for myself but in terms of mental health. You need to go for proper training. There are certain training that you training to do. People who are experts in training students to be therapists. So, if you are training, there are certain rules that you need to understand. If you are a drawing, you are a therapist. Unfortunately, for that, you need to know what to make a person do because you are a the earthquake, boy, trauma. Boy. Trauma work, because you never imagine like key could have a trigger or something like that. So, the earthquake could be a man, Moyle Kola, Kotizana, the Eromoya, Xipota Sanako, Botsa, who group like session or at the Balazu Park, right after the earthquake. Kola Moyle Rukwan of Mulla when you automatically trauma Mazanti, because that affected that person. So, who manage like key could have a trauma on say a trigger on some at home in a game? So, we are a part of therapy, we understand. So, we are a understanding of the knowledge of the person. If you are interested, you need to find the right course, get trained, and then you can practice as therapist. So, last question topic of KT, when you can use it, so it can be used anywhere. When you come to a psychiatric ward, I also work with schools and colleges and universities, made a private practice, because your art therapy is something because remember, it's a tool where you're helping people understand themselves. Now, who doesn't want to be understood, right? So it can be used wherever. There is no rules to where it can't be used. So personally, I client tell me I only take people who are five years and above. So I client client. I hope it answers your question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How can you tell that a person is struggling? How can you tell that a person is suicidal? Who are vocal, who will say, okay, I feel horrible, I might do something to myself. Now, that is a red alert, right? So, you need to make sure you are there listening, reaching out for whatever help you can. Because if you are not equipped with the right tools, you are not a professional, don't try to help. That's another thing. Because you have a problem, you don't have to help you, you don't have to help you. You don't have to help you, you don't have to help you. So, remember, you can't be a counselor, but what you can do is you can listen to them, because remember when you vent, when you talk about your problems, it feels great, right? So you can be a listener without giving an advice. So you can listen, but you can direct them to the proper channels. That is really important. I do have people who reach out to me saying, So they are friends who are actually reaching for help for somebody else. That's great. So we can never tell what the signs are because remember for somebody who's struggling, we're always trying to put up a persona that we're strong. Why not? And that's where I think approval seeking kukurans, okay? Aren't we always seeking approval? Aren't we always trying to show the world that we're doing amazing? So the one thing I would say, judgment gorna, that's such a lucid we're always judging. society the judgment means so we cannot make intellectual conversations. Okay, you know what? Wherever you walk in, you go to a social gathering, wherever I don't know how much it happens with this generation. So I'm here to work. But how much is it? So wherever you enter, the first thing, one of those things, which is considered body shaming now, is kothi mota ko, oh, kothi dubla ko, mukta kalo vaisa, papa zori ko. Excuse me. There's so much more to each of us. Why cannot? Why, you know? Why don't we make intelligent comments? Hey, how are you doing professionally? Right? You look amazing. You seem happy. You know those things that gives you a positive insight. So I think the simplest thing we can do, Samita Ji, is wherever we are, let's say some nice things. You know, let's be kind to people. Why do we always have to say something so ridiculous? There are no signs to how people may be feeling unless somebody tells you. So all you can do is be a good listener, 
But then if you are going through problems, please talk about it. You know, don't keep it to yourself. You need help, tell somebody close to you that I need help. And maybe that person can find you help if you are not able to. So I think that's the only way around. Any other insights? I think we have such an interesting psychiatrist ka goya nirisa, you know? Moka one manchur koi koi from the age of ten they've started antidepressants. Is that sad? So poila psychiatrist ka goya do. And also the kanta de you know, after a point it becomes like, okay, but is not dealing with it properly. Especially they start looking for counselors and therapists. Okay? So that's a reverse way of knowing about things. Yeri koi like if you think somebody's struggling, somebody's not, you know, has some behavior problems, I would say, you know, you send them to a professional, it doesn't need to be, uh, you know, it can be a counselor to start with, somebody, you know, will just talk to you. If not, there's a therapist who will do something different. Because that's when you take medication. You don't want to start chemical medication till the absolute need. Because, problem we are all affected by things that are happening around us the social context what things people say right the things that happen we're all triggered by that the only way to get over those triggers is to talk about it mother is the boy one the solution I am is the right so anybody needs help definitely professional help is the way to go about it right Let's not keep quiet about it. When I'm talking about mental health, should be like this. You know, you just talk about it. There's no stigma to it. We're just helping ourselves out after all, right? And uh, something to add in. Mental health, for that, you don't have to be depressed. Yeah. It's like, you, you're not going to go to a gym when you're like unhealthy obese. You, you, you go to a gym when you want to have a good body or a healthy body, right? So, the, so if you want to go to a counselor, it doesn't mean you have to be depressed. Because sometimes, our thoughts, because a lot of the times we are all in our head, right? And there is there is no measurement or there is no way to gauge if what you're thinking is healthy or unhealthy. Sometimes we keep our thoughts to ourselves, and when that incubates for a long, long period of time, that's when you slowly start having very negative thoughts, very uh, distorted thoughts. Like you, you, like you might, you might, you might interpret a regular situation in a very negative light. So that's why if you go to a therapist, like sometimes even if you have like simple issues, like you know, you, you can go talk to a therapist because they will help you sort out the thoughts in your head. And like if, if, if you continue that practice, then you'll, you'll probably not be anywhere near depression. Because it, it's when you incubate those problems for a long time, they actually become big issues that you can't start. Then you won't be able to function in a regular settings. You're not happy. You probably lose interest in the things that you like. You will start see, You will stop seeing your friends, and and what happens is it's actually a bad cycle that actually makes things worse. So I think, like you know, uh, the, the the discussion about mental health. Yeah. I think it's it's better to like just start talking openly. You know, you don't have to be depressed to seek counseling. It's actually good to like you know just sort out through your issues. Yeah, and I just want to uh, just point out one thing that didn't. I mean, social media. Certainly, obviously, you know, we all active mm -hmm. there. Uh, social media ma dun kisim ka the comparison gods home after life ka bare ma that might be like one of the causes of why we are stressed out right and it's even compare gods home like day to day basis ma we always think we're not good enough we always think the other person's better right know so social media ma just to ka ka the comparison gods home so after life ka bare ma we're always thinking oh elle if some gods so i'm very incapable moi edi matra gore bhanne cha ni tyo ka ko comparisons haru lai pani we need to be able to filter it, okay? Because remember, what you see on social media most of the time is not the real deal, right? I mean, think about it. When you post a photo, how many of you just take a photo and post it? No. Photographer, the culture got the answer. What a bad photo, one of I know. So we are putting filters. We are doing all sorts of things to make a photo look good. Why? Yeah, you agree with me? Great. Why? Because we want those likes. Right? We, we want people to say, hey, we're very quick to compare our lives with theirs. So, you have a comparison, you have a comparison, and that's a very natural thing to happen. 
that we are comparing. So also, kura jun mari dele they have to. Because when people start feeling really sad, I know I'm not using the term depressed here. Sad. One of the things they tend to do is they deactivate their social media accounts. Okay. What till them hala? So many of you have it. What till them hala bondo? So okay. Oh, mari I deactivated. Kina bondo. But oh, I just don't want to mingle with people. So are you not isolating yourself like that? Is again something to think about. Why not? Kina bani social media deactivate gora bani kio bani. Remember, it's become a part of our lives. The phone utheras scroll down or the you know it's just a random thing that we all do, right? We're all guilty of it. So, jaba ani social media deactivate gori because I don't want to talk to anybody bani. That might again be something of a red alert because why would you want to do that? Social media ma active now. So at least you feel connected to the world, because I think that's one thing uh, that happened because of the pandemic that it kept us going because we kept getting connected. So maybe that is not a great idea. Yeah. So it does. It is about what works for you, and you make that choice. The choice is always ours. I mean, remember that. So what if one way like there's this thought pattern which is like black and white thinking, isn't it? Which is like you don't think about the grays in between. Mm -hmm. You just think it's either yes or no. Yeah. And sometimes a other one is still the social media. It it does create a lot of pressure on us. So what you have to realize is anything in life, even social media, is actually a tool. Now it's up to the person how to use it. Just the ones. And if you have a knife, you know, you can cut a fruit for someone. You could actually free an animal that's trapped, or you could threaten someone, or harm someone. You know, this is social media. You have to understand that it's a tool. So, like you know, couple of ones. Still, like when you go to the extremes, or like you know, you totally get into the social media uh, sphere, and you, you try to pressure yourself to upkeep that life, or like you know, it, it affects you. To after after like the education reports, like so, like I think talking with a therapist, they can actually guide you when your thoughts are like kind of diluted, a little extreme, recently, because I'm real thoughts are like distortion of the like I uh, like, I wish I were. Uh, I think I will. Uh, if, if everyone can leave your email, I will forward you this whole uh, exercise book. And uh, it actually labels out uh, the types of thought and, uh, that is actually detrimental to us. Okay? Stay. Uh, oh, you know, there were so many times I wanted to talk, but I didn't want to interrupt anything because those were like distortions of thought that you can just pick up. Okay? And sometimes you can you can check yourself. Am I thinking in this manner? Am I thinking in this manner? Am I thinking in this manner? And they're like most of the exercises. I guess now that I can forward it to you too, because that's that's a very step-by-step -step mathematical process that you can evaluate your own thoughts. But eh, something is important. It's important to talk to someone, <laughs> professional, saturated. Like, don't take my word for professional advice. It's just something that you can use as self help. And the other thing is for for students. I know. I know this might sound cheesy, but every morning when you wake up and every evening, you know, it's good to practice positive affirmation. I know it sounds cheesy, you know, but when you start your day with a few affirmations, like, you know, just write something that you feel good about. This is not this is not a solution, you know, but it's something that can help you start your day better. You, know? you, you write things that you're happy about, like, you, you can write about the, the awesome day you had before or a project that you completed. It can be very simple achievements, you know. You start with those thoughts your mind kind of starts in a fresh palette of positivity. Okay? And you would say, like, throughout the day, like, even if stressful things happen, you know, you're still in a good mood that you can just brush them aside. And when you go back to, when you go sleep, and you just, you don't have to write it. Writing is better, but you can just think some, like, at least three positive things that's happened to you. And that way, I think it keeps our mood in check. Because, like, one, well, I mean, we are, we are so critical of ourselves. Okay? Like, even if our progress is being made, we are like, oh, this is not the full progress. I think it's, it's very important to you know, kind of remember to be grateful for the things we have, to, to, to acknowledge our little successes. Because I think our youth, especially the young generation Z, we are, we are under so much pressure. There's so much on social media telling what our life should be, say, what, what it isn't. That was a very important point of my mind. Yeah. Constant 
Because when they see a change in somebody, they realize that, oh, you the istuti or the How did that happen? Right? So telling them, giving them information might not help. But then if there are things you're doing to help yourself, get over something, and you're putting it into practice, they will see that. Because that's the only way I have realized while I've been working with the older generation. Like I said, I have some 80-year-old who comes for a session. She was very rigid about not wanting to come, but her daughter forced her to come and see me, so he, she hated me when she came in. She said, Mala I didn't want to know what to say. I said, no problem. It's okay. I'm a cough room, not so I just sat there and I just listened to her. Okay? And when I listened to her, I saw what the problem was. And then Bistari, with action, I told her stories. I'm a great storyteller, by the way. So I love to tell stories about experiences I've heard from other people, things I've seen. And when she listened and she realized that there, there were other people her age who had gone through the process and the kind of outcome that happened, she accepted and she sat for therapy and now she's doing great. What if they got any money? Because action by the okay? They need to see it. Because remember, they're very rigid. Yeyo, right? So yeah, we all have that struggle. Keep on. It's all about energy. I know it's not proven in science, you know, but so the idea is when you're affirming something, you know, you're attracting it. So if you're saying I want, when you say I want, you are signifying that you're lacking there. So instead of that, you should start with gratitude. Thank you for giving this to me. And thank you for my parents. Thank you for the wonderful food. So you're right about that. I should have mentioned that because if people practice affirmation the wrong way, it might you know if it does work. So on the second grammar, you mentioned Please don't ever say that. The reason, the reason being, you know, no matter the size of your brains or cranium, you know, you know, as vast as this universe, this physical universe that exists in this in this infinite scale, you know, your consciousness and your mind is as vast. And if you look within, the, the, the scope of your thoughts, how far they can reach, you know, the ideas you can explore, it's limitless, it's infinite. And so you have that infinite possibility within you. So don't ever say that. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, my thing is, uh, because I know it is infinite, I mean, see, I'm overwhelming with your, your data, overwhelming, to it. And that's why I'm, I like to think that not in an infinite part, in biology, mm -hmm. it, is, it, is, it is this much. Yeah. And uh, when there are infinite things that are out of control, uh, oh, but then if there's another infinite universe, mm -hmm. uh, universe. Uh, you know, supporting you or guiding you or just listening to you as the other question. So do, instead of throwing everything and just do, stirring everything in your head, why not um, pour, it into, pour it out? Uh, art, how do I say though? You know, art is, uh, I feel art is an outreach. You know, the mind not doing anything, so just to channel, channel your own thing. So channel your own thing. So say, I'm a team of, most of us do this, I'm a team of, I'm a team of numbers. Instead of that, why not uh, just pour it out to another impacted mind? I've yeah. got connection, yeah, that's, that's, that's also great. That's what you're saying, definitely. I mean, like, uh, was there, I think there was something else mm -hmm. towards the end? So, like, I'm very dysfunctional. God, right? I mean, like, I express it through art. The mere like is being created extremely difficult, okay? But sometimes I feel like I'm just dumb right now. And the idea, all and everything, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the art blocks are ruins, any creative blocks are ruins. Mm -hmm. You would say, mere, like, extremely difficult. Okay? So if I have to think about something, this is mere, like, difficult to do. I wanted to ask you, I think, so, trust me, to express things that really matter to you, things that it's, an, it's, it's, it's burning a hole in your core, it is difficult, it's not easy enough. So sometimes it's the Kura, even so, 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 you've gone through that. The, the incubation time, the idea, so it, it, it takes a long time to come with the, with, with how you want to portray it. So you look for motives, you look for visuals, you look for symbols that you can represent. So a way to express your narrative. And it's, it's, not, it's not easy. 
it does take time, but then again, so everyone has their own unique way here to, to, to express this. More about mirror process come and say, I tend to use a lot of motifs, reoccurring symbols that represent certain ideas, you know. And he told the last day, like, your piece of melancholy, and it's about depression. Teddy Bella say, I was not depressed. I might have been, I don't know for sure, you know. But uh, the person I was romantically involved with, she was going through a very serious depression, yeah. And so she was clinically depressed, she was on medication, and he, it, it was very painful for me, especially when you know someone you care about you know, is going through depression, and you see them it's in their state, and you feel helpless. You, know, like you can't do anything because I'm not a professional, so no matter what I say, it's, it's not going to change the situation. All I can do is console her, be there for her. It's such a long, ongoing process, it was really difficult. So at that time, I wanted to draw this about her, and I could not even say this is about her because I knew one appears to know her, so I made it like a man. But even if I make it like a man, there's, it looks like a woman, isn't it? Do you need this? This is how it looks. And so, you know, the, the process is not easy. Maybe, Susan, you can elaborate on your process. No, I, I second, I second your <coughs> opinion. This much. Co creative, sir, co creative, sir, because I express it on a If you compete with other people, then you will always lack behind this last second. You say you are very much a comparison or some of the other ones. And you keep, you're also keep at the moment. And you're the partner. Just that, yeah? Couple categories. Couple categories with a maximum lag. Problems are kids for this, yeah. We lay kill a creative one, yeah, one. So if you're trying to compare with the students or the students, then definitely I think that's the wrong way to do this last time. If you if you see syllables, I'll give pretty much one. If you see syllables and if you are following certain objectives of the class, then you follow that. For the sake of getting marks, you just follow that, you know. Keep on general. That a core my guys say who you are, who you are, but ne or each other, you identifying yourself on your current say. I think it's your personal process as well. So you might you might get that click after two years' time or twenty years time also. It's you. It, your personal uh, experience was I think what you have said. So it just you just I think you just you just need to go with the flow. So nobody has right to say that you're dumb or you're intelligent. No? You have to decide yourself. Mm -hmm. Please, asking about the block artistic creative block. We are a block. No? We are a block. I mean, we have two amazing artists right here. Maybe you can talk about your experience. What do you do when you have an artistic block? I mean, there are other people here as well. We have amazing artists here. He, he draws new paintings. <laughs> 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 So, uh, I think as a student right now, we are in a very growing age where absorbing everything. Number one, you should be super curious. The more, the more avenues of interest you have, the more inspirations and different perspectives you can draw. So, like you know, maybe you're interested in 
mechanics like motorbikes. So they maybe you're interested in jumping off a bridge. Maybe like exploding. So they will all find. Uh, they will all find. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying jumping off a bridge with the bungee. Thank you for the I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so you know, like if, if you have the image of avenues, you have all these elements like spices in a food. Oh, honey. The other thing is stress kills creativity. When you're stressed, you try to find the easiest solution. And that usually might not be a creative solution. So the idea is to keep your mind in a very playful state. The moment you take it as a stressful task, your creativity goes down and your logic, the way logical mind kicks in, and then you just try to find the easiest point between the two lines. Well, no. So if you keep your mind in a very playful state, and say like, you know, shoot the shit with your friends, then just talk back and forth, mazak joke kara, then you might call something like a perspective that you never thought of. So I think for a creative mind, especially when you're in that block, so try to eradicate stress, but you know, go out, watch a movie, talk with some friends, and you know, do just random things. Okay? That will that will have your mind more relaxed. You know, when you're in a playful state, then you come up with the most creative ideas. Yeah, that's where self-awareness comes in. I'm sorry. Where does stress come from? <coughs> Stress comes when you feel like you're not in control, when something's not going your way, right? So when we stress, what do we do? We stress even more, because we are again overthinking the whole situation. So it's so important to be aware of things that make you feel good. The little things in life, you know, it doesn't need to be big things, but the small things that make you feel good, it's good to be aware. Taki, whenever you're stressed, when you have a blockage, when you feel like, oh, I can't focus, you go to these little things, you know? Do something that makes you feel good, and then you will realize that when you are happy, I know, when you feel good, you think positive, your body feels energized, I know, you, you're wanting to do something, you want that feeling, and when you have that feeling, you get creative, because then you can think of uh, hundreds of ideas. To say the God, that anytime you feel like you're getting stressed, always move to something that makes you feel good, and then you come back to that. You know, the, the deadline that needs to be met, the work that needs to be done, right? So the pressure is always there. I mean, you can't deduct the pressure, but what you do is you know what works for you, use it so that you feel better and you come back to it. God in the serio. Because stress one, your kura is never going away because we are always stressed with one thing or the other, right? So what we do is we help ourselves, and this kolagi, you need to be aware of yourself of what works for you. That's really important, right? Yeah, I think it's so easy to just say the name. I know. Technically, we didn't choose the name, right? It was given to us. We've just accepted that as ours. Ours, and we identify with that name. You know, we try to find the meaning of the name, and we think, oh, this is why I am or something. Tawra, if you think about your life, so with your ambitions, with your failures, with the fact that you've fallen, you've gotten up, you know, your, your frustrations and your strength, wherever you reach, you just need to appreciate that. Where am I when I cure? I'm accepting the fact that I've come a long way. I've probably been through some moments where, you know, things weren't going my way. I've overcome them and I've come here. Appreciation is important. Okay? Appreciating the fact that you are here today. Were you struggling then? Did you wish to be in this position where you feel a little more in control of your life? Who am I? You are basically saying, well done. You've come a long way. Well done. I think well done to all of us that we've been through things We've struggled, we've coped, we've come here, right now. And being here means you're also very aware of where you want to be. So, ambition, goals, affirmation, I just want to add that I think it's really, really helpful for each of us to have daily goals. Daily goals, because, I mean, for people working also, there's always work to be done. For students, there's always a deadline to fulfill, right? But then we put it off, I know. We go and laugh, oh, I have other things to do. And most of the time, we always say we're busy. Technically, we're not. We're liars. So we've got that's funny. But we're always busy, right? Busy to do things. 
वन इज डेली गोल बना के होने यू आर बेसिकली टेलिंग यू सब आज को दिन में मो यो 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 कर सो तो डेली गोल में यू शुड पुट टू मच थिंग्स दैट यू कैन फुलफिल बिकॉज़ इफ यू हैव गोल्स व्हिच यू कैन फुलफिल के वो बाय द एंड ऑफ द डे यू ऑलरेडी फ्रस्ट्रेटेड बिकॉज़ यू ऑलरेडी फीलिंग गिल्टी दैट देयर कैन बी राइट बट इफ यू पुट लिटिल थिंग्स दैट आर इंपॉर्टेंट सो बेसिकली यू आर एड्रेसिंग एवरीथिंग योर वेल बीइंग योर टाइम विद योर फैमिली योर फ्रेंड्स योर वर्क एवरीथिंग बट यू आर गिविंग इट टाइम एवरी डे के वो बाय द एंड ऑफ द डे यू फील रियली गुड दैट यू हैव डन थिंग्स दैट वर इंपॉर्टेंट त्यो बाय पर चिकी बाय यू स्लीप बेटर Only when I give up, you're already motivated because it was a good day, right? Now this didn't come from anything else. This came from you and your reality that that needed to be done. So I think affirmations, just the daily goals, really work really well, and that is also part of accepting where you are. I hope that answers your question. In our society, we have past na jo meditation jo kaha par taam se bani. It comes from the culture we're from. I mean, it's religious more than anything else. I mean, spirituality. Ki apal apal amro kotha aru sune bani. It it comes about we can reach money le, then tapasya gore ra. You know, they reach places. So I think we still believe that you know it works. I will not deny that meditation is good for you, bani ko. It is more of a spiritual connection, and I'm not talking religion here. I think the fact that you take out time to be with yourself. You know, but you remember, life could door do. But the rat race that we were talking about, we we're always fulfilling expectations. Neither, ula kusi paro, ula kusi paro, o kusi ba, no, o ko, the conflicts, all of that is constantly going. So when you take time away and you are there in a space where there are no phone calls, there are no people, there's no conversation, you're just being aware of yourself. That's being mindful. Neither, kotha ne kotha, that is necessary, but that is not a solution when you're going through issues. I know that because how much can you help yourself, right? So the solution is always yes, you have to be aware of yourself. But then yes, you have to talk about your problems. You know anything that bothers you. If you have people who are close to you, you know talk about it. Don't bottle up. Kune bani kure saano lagi bani ulli mala at isto bani mala chitta dukhe, right? Now chitta dukhe if I'm going to keep thinking about it, mere to chati pogar mahatam baaye. Why? Because I'm going on about it, and I'm and then I'm crying all the time, right? But if I'm just externalizing it and telling somebody, as a mala is clear, is the only one. But you keep it's already out of your system, and the person might tell you something that gives you a reason about why that person might have said that. Some kind of positive thought, you know? He never bani. Kune bani situation ma. I mean, negative turante er some, but there's always a positive side to it. Pata na kate, right? So two positive side bit on the journey, okay? And I think that's where other and other people like me come in because that's what we do for a living, I know. So we do need people to come to us and say, "Oh, okay," because that's the only thing I know how to do. <laughs> so, last uh, question: Have you meditated? Like, do you meditate? Not really. Not really. Okay. So the thing is, I'm not one of them. I just think, yes, for certain issues, you need to go to a counselor, isn't it? Because There are some issues meditations won't solve. Not that stay meditation, Kopini. There are many interpretations. A lot of people perceive meditation from different forms. So the idea of meditation is to achieve stillness, which sounds kind of ridiculous in today's world. You know what I mean? Oily is is the time of keep on so adding so on. It's the three or five second attention span. So if you're making a video, you need to change something every three seconds or five seconds to keep it interesting. So what happens with that is. Our mind becomes trained that if something goes longer than that, we just get bored. We just want to change something. This is going to be in an age where multitasking is uh, considered really good. Okay? Multitasking is a great skill, but if you start multitasking a lot, what you've got after years, you will notice you cannot focus on a subject. So you, after you get as a one, all of a sudden your mind's wandering. So because of social media, because of this multitasking, you are uh, keep on it. This whole uh, epidemic that's taking over our society, we are we're constantly like you know our mind is not still. So when you meditate, you know, suruma, it's going to be very difficult. But the idea is to achieve stillness. Now, what is stillness? You know, stillness, what you're saying, stillness of thought. Dunse oil suruma. If you guys start meditating, it's not something you can achieve. But if you practice it every day, you know, after a while, you 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 can't be in a state where you're not thinking. Only beyond that, you know, when you're in that state for a certain time, what happens is when you're without thoughts, you actually feel very free. It's 
all of a sudden the first thing you'll notice is your neck muscles, something it just relaxes. You just feel like you, you become like water, you know? And beyond that cues of you should, without thinking any thought, good or bad, you you are able to smile in nothingness. So basically when you're going meditative route now, like you know towards spiritual path now, I think when you when you navigate those paths, it's, it's about finding inner peace. That's the integration of inner peace, which which can help you with your mental health, you know? but that's not the entire solution. And that's just one of the practices, you know? which I think is great for everyone. Trust me, meditation does work. It's hard to get there, you know? but once you get there, yeah, it's, 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 it really does help. Yeah, I think there is the physical well-being, then there's the mental well-being, then there's the emotional well-being, and there's something called the spiritual well-being. One you where you're very aware of yourself, right? Not where you're aware of your breathing. So do you don't read I mean normally we're stuck with physical well being. I know. The old statement of very more dies of being. But then there are so many other forms, okay? Right? And spiritual also comes in. Buyers, majority of collectors, they want something nice on their wall. They don't want to put the depressing pieces and trust me, especially to like yeah, like if you if you create works of positivity, affirmation. I think there's actually a bigger market for you. Thought about like like mere personal advice said, make mere apple life one said. I decided to keep art and income separate. Now I know it's not be possible for everyone. And that's why I've had to make a lot of personal compromises. Okay? Because I've seen my father who's an artist and I've seen his struggles. Okay? And he wanted to keep and I wanted to keep my expressions and art, my narrative very pure. I didn't want the pressure of sales to affect my process. Cuba, let's say I kind of like, you know, like you current stage, let's say I earn a living through graphic design, like, you know, brand identity, all who come up for let's say, the art side, I make it for art sake. So it's very difficult being being in the art market, surviving as an artist, it is a tough job, right? To say home, oh, we can't deny that. There's a lot of stress in there. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> like the positive people, I think there's actually a bigger market than pieces that are silly. But, so Again, <coughs> sorry, marketing aspect I think you are presenting yourself too much as well. Creative for you, for the film, for the film. Oh, yeah, it's it's the creative film, artistic journey. What it's completely a personal journey. Okay, it's nothing to do with what you are studying at K. Okay, K. You know the four years, you have degree that means, ah, na ani yoye shi kamo se. Tere mat. Tere na beyond to you have to find yourself. Koi li pecha wani kura ro. I don't have the answer. I know Buddha koi li enlighten hunsa wani kura ro. Jo tis lang panay kena. So you'll find your own click. At some point, you know, that's why you'll, you'll explore maybe in a very different way also. Or if you like to be sale, you know, 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 as an artist, like it's it's different calling. You know, artist, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I think it's inner call, but then the artist also is like, so, and you know, you know, you know, you there are different ways of earning money. Okay? But at the same time, also you can help that call to your Peter because you don't you don't chit car or something. There is some you know come from like different ways of expression. The artist one like you drawing painting a god of person. Maybe you can do different expression or go avenues or go into such or So that's why you not limit yourself. Only stay stay at home intuitive way. Be as a sponge. Get Japanese source nigger. Be open. Do not limit yourself. I am not a person. 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 I am not a person.
be free, you know, be at the early the time uh, you have lots of options. But first time, uh, second time, uh, but if you still have two more years to go, uh, you have lots of other friends and mentors you know, who can help you out when you fall down also. You can go there. You can explore there. You know, after limit no one, you will find your way out. Yes, I'm, I'm quite sure. Uh, you, you, are you with a question? I'm quite sure that you'll find your way. You are very inquisitive about this black thing. Do not limit yourself. You're already searching. Or uh, or some compare now with anybody. You compare with with yourself. Okay, after the camera, okay. Or some compare with another one. Oh, listen, he, my, my, my school, man. I'll tell you a very funny story. My school, I fell by. 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 Same on me, the first boy walk. My son, if you have a school for the Saturday early, he's become like around 40. How do you compare success for him? You can't make up the Where do you want to place yourself for it? Very important. I think as an as an artist, it's maybe why you became an artist is not because your dad was an artist. Right? It's your own calling. Me. Teach you yourself. I mean, you have to be very sure just like somebody. I think you'll find your way out. Everyone's success has a different meaning. Yeah, yeah. Because like there's a saying, some people are so poor they all they have is money, but like they don't even have time. It's like your question is do you want to drive a Lamborghini to work or do you want to take a Honda and travel the world? Because then like it's how you perceive life. Like your success ultimately, you know, it's like what's gonna fulfill you. It might be like getting recognition from everyone, it might be like